Greetings, Multiverse. I just wanted to come to you with a bit of a, like a personal comment about the cancellation of Arrow. I just wanted to give my thoughts on this announcement from the CW there. I was beginning to wonder if Arrow would ever actually end. Uh, it's sort of gone a bit too long at this point, but it's still a show I had quite a lot of enjoyment and love for. It was my favourite of the CW verse shows for a long time, for several years in fact. It's a bit overdue, so I'm quite happy it's probably going to finish with the Crisis on Infinite Earths. Almost certainly Oliver Queen is going to have to like give up his life or something <laughs> for this. Coming toward the end of Elseworlds, that, that was the last thing I actually reacted to for Arrow on my channel. I haven't really done much of Arrow for pretty much the entire length of PC Comics Gamer. I've dropped off of Arrow completely and it actually became the first CW show for me to actually officially stop watching. Season 6 did not grab me at all. Season 5 was excellent. I thought Season 5 of Prometheus was a real return to form and then Season 6 just completely lost the plot. Ricardo Diaz, another normal guy basically who can just like buy or intimidate the entire city. And then suddenly the Arrow team split up again and uh, oh Oliver Queen can't trust anyone or oh, oh oh no. I just didn't care anymore. It just felt too much. And season 7 I haven't watched any of, so the idea of there being 10 episodes of season 8 and that being it for Arrow, I'm not too sad about that, but at the same time I do want to give my thoughts on Arrow at the start and what Arrow means to me as a fan. I may have dropped off of it, but that doesn't mean I didn't love it for several years, and when it was first announced I was so excited. Season 1 was a little bit iffy, but round about the halfway point of Season 1, it became great. It really did. And Season 2 is still one of the finest things that the CW Arrowverse, as it I still refer to it as, ever produced. Season 2 of Arrow went straight into Season 1 of The Flash, which is still my favourite, and I sort of stuck with The Flash away from Arrow, as Arrow sort of dropped off a bit with Season 3 and Season 4. Rachel Ghoul, eh, wasn't quite as good, but then they got back on it with Prometheus, almost as good as Deathstroke in Season 2, and it just all worked. It really did for a, one final year, and then Season 6 gave up. But I still really loved Arrow for a time, and I really respect the show for starting this whole CW-verse. I mean, I have mixed feelings on the whole CW-verse as a whole, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited about everything they're doing. But of course, something I had to give, and Arrow being the first, and being, I say, the most tired a premise I had to give, and that was it. The Flash can still sort of go, The Flash has one of the best rogues galleries and sort of breadth of stories. What's going on with the CWS? I mean, Batwoman obviously is taking over from Arrow, presumably. If you've got a Batman show, essentially, you don't need the sub-Batman. <laughs> the time has come for the first CW show to be cancelled in the Arrowverse, and it has to be the Prime show. I honestly thought it wasn't going to go first. I thought Legend of Tomorrow was going to get the axe first, but I'm sort of glad this isn't the case. If there are indeed plans in the works to revive Constantine, and bring it to either CW or DC Universe, I will be excited, but Arrow brought back Constantine first. I have to always remember that, and did a damn good job with Deathstroke. Of course, even had the Suicide Squad, and let us not forget, it had Harley Quinn. Voiced by Tara Strong, no less, and was going to do more with her and the Suicide Squad until that flipping movie came out. <laughs> we had Superman in the CW-verse, we've had basically Batman being confirmed as part of the DC Universe, we're getting a Batwoman show. Green Arrow is sort of falling apart as a show. I haven't seen Season 7, so I don't know if it's a return to form. Let me know if it is. Honestly, if you're watching Season 7 and you think it's a lot better than Season 6, then let me know and I'll probably continue. But now that there is actually an end point, I may well continue. I want to thank everyone behind Arrow, including Stephen Amell, Rick Berlanti, and all the rest, for giving me so many hours and giving us so many hours of quality DC entertainment. I may have had bad experiences as well, but never less than general love for the show. I always meant to carry on watching the show, and I will always love it for bringing this whole huge TV-based DC universe into the fore. 
beating anything that Marvel has ever accomplished. Getting to see Croesus on Infinite Earths in TV form. <laughs> That's incredible. DCEU, the shared DC movie universe may be falling apart, but the Arrowverse will continue. And for that, I truly respect Arrow and everything it did. But thank you, Arrow. You'll always have a special place in our hearts. Thanks for everything, and I hope you go out with a bang. What do you guys think? What are your guys' thoughts on Arrow? As a show, uh, at the beginning, did you drop off at some point? Have you been an avid watcher since day one? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the cancellation? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer. I will be covering the Crosses on Infinite Earths crossover at the very least. Maybe even the last episode of Arrow if I catch up in time. Everything on the DC Universe. Subscribe to DC Comics Gamer. May not have done Arrow. I've got the likes of Krypton, Gotham, Batwoman I intend to do, Doom Patrol, and I will probably be adding more to that roster. Let me know everything you thought in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. Catch you guys later. Multiverse out.